Hello, this is a little project I did just kind of on a whim. This is a um, this is a uh, emergency flashing beacon. It's very cool. Looks like a hockey puck. Uh, you sit here and press this button, and it activates uh, one of nine modes. Each time you press the button, it cycles through the modes. Looks great. Uh, I think it's meant to kind of replace a flare, something you might carry around your car. Home Depot sells them for $7.98, which I think is awesome, so I just had to buy one. And immediately, as soon as I cracked it open, I realized this momentary button uh, here uh, just really just bridges two contacts uh, for a second. There must be a microcontroller inside that sees that temporary um, uh, short and, and begins cycling the mode. So I extended this switch out to this, uh, this terminal here so I could wire it to uh, this breadboard. And uh, on the breadboard, I've got uh, it wired to this little Radio Shack 5 volt, um, 5 volt relay, single pull, single throw relay, and that's wired to my Arduino. This is a uh, this is actually a, a slightly modified Arduino. It's called a, a Romeo all-in-one uh, controller. It's made uh, for robotics. Put some extra stuff on it, but under the covers, it's a it's a regular 328 type Arduino uh, Mega. Um, here is the, the code. Um, I will uh, look in the comments. I should provide a link to this code if you're interested. And in serial monitor, it's going to um, cycle through and push all push the button for me um, and uh, and and activate this uh, this beacon uh, and cycle through all of its modes and then turn it off. So uh, let's see if that actually happens. There we go. You can see it's uh, waiting 10 seconds, and then it's going to go one mode at a time here. Mode 2. Mode 4, 3, and 4. Very cool. I was surprised how easy it was to control this device. It's amazing what a little knowledge and a microcontroller and some programming skill, basic programming skill can do for you. Anyway, turned off, took through all the cycles, and uh, that's my weekend project.